Scientific research has concluded the repetitive motion injuries represent a serious threat to American workers. As Secretary of Labor, I hereby permit the Occupational Safety and Health Administration to take all effective steps necessary to address the ergonomics issues in American industry. We urge the administration to, without delay, issue an ergonomic standard to protect our valuable laborers and union members immediately. Um, no. But, don't worry, we're on it. A standard is on its way. Good news, America. We have decided to push forward with plans for developing an OSHA standard for ergonomics. So, consider this your notice that an ergonomics standard for general industry is on its way. My fellow Americans, I feel your carpal tunnel pain. It's high time we did something about ergonomics injuries in our nation's workplaces. I commit the government to pass a draft ergonomics standard by the end of 1994. Oh, and pass some of them pickles too, while you read it. I like him and believe him. We'll see about that. We've got about a million dollars that says there will never be an ergonomics standard in this country. And, as part of this House budgetary bill, OSHA will be forbidden from passing or even working on an ergonomics regulation this year. Well, we developed this draft standard anyways. Tell us what you think about it. Okay, let's take an appropriate amount of time to look it over. We've just polled the whole nation. We found that no one wants this standard or even cares about ergonomics. I care. That right there, boys and girls, is what you call a veto. That's what I think of your budget bill preventing an ergonomic standard. Wait. Well, uh, well, it looks like we've come to compromise. OSHA is prevented from issuing an ergonomic standard this year, but it can go on ahead and work on a standard for future years. Yay. Well, that's good news, for a compromise will surely bring about the best outcome. Oh, and for next year's budget. OSHA isn't allowed to put forth or even work on an ergonomic standard at all. Heh? They can't even collect any information on ergonomics-related injuries that are happening at work. Well, we just happen to have this data from last year that shows that ergonomics-related injuries are increasing at a larger rate than ever. Hogwash. We've got tons of data that clearly shows that so-called ergonomic injuries are on the decline. There's no such thing as ergonomics. It's a made-up thing by OSHA and the Clinton administration. See. This research proves it. He say, what? The scientists have all contacted me to voice their opinion that ergonomics is a legitimate science that is affecting millions of American workers. Shall we confer about the fate of the ergonomics standard? Yes, let's confer. I propose that... As part of this year's appropriations bill, OSHA be prohibited from issuing an ergonomic standard. But, they may go ahead and collect information about the need for a standard. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, the House is ready to vote on a budget that includes a rider to prevent all ergonomics work of any kind by OSHA. What's that? Oh, fine. We'll amend the budget this time to remove the OSHA ergonomics restriction. This time. That's a relief, I guess. I'd like to announce the formation of a new coalition of the American Trucking Association, the Coalition for Common Sense, the National Federation for Independent Business, and several others. Our sole purpose is to squash ergonomic standards wherever they may arise, starting with the state of California's new proposal.
ANSI, your standard is next. Let these fiscal year 1998 budgetary hearings commence. Representatives of NIOSH, are you ready to state your case? Of course, Mr. Congressman. We have them. As you know, I've drafted a bill to prevent your colleagues at OSHA from developing an ergonomics regulation until the National Academy of Sciences can do a detailed study of ergonomics and its so-called impact on industry. As you know, sir, NIOSH's sole job is to conduct research on those hazards most significant to the occupational health of the nation, and we've already... Well, I don't think that there's any science behind this ergonomics standard. As the head of the CDC, I feel that the science of ergonomics is well-founded and... Just as I suspected. There's nothing really to support any ergonomic standard to be found in the realm of science. Sir, that seems a little presumptuous since we've been studying this for years. Alrighty then, I've got about 99 more questions to ask you about this supposed science. And, Osha? What do you have to say about this? With respect, Congressman, OSHA has been dealing with these budgetary restrictions with regard to an ergonomic standard for two years. Make it three, now. In the meantime, injuries that could be prevented by ergonomics regulation continue to increase. Wait. You're not planning on working on this thing behind our backs, are you? On weekends or during your lunch hours? Isn't that a little paranoid? Congress demands to know exactly what your ergonomics plans are for 1998, or there will be no money at all for OSHA next year. We've reviewed over 600 scientific studies looking at musculoskeletal disorders in the workplace. There is a large body of credible evidence that demonstrates a consistent connection between certain physical workplace conditions and these disorders, especially when those conditions are encountered repeatedly. I've been fighting against this ergonomic standard in my previous positions, but now that I'm president of this organization, I vow to escalate the battle until the ergonomic standard is dead. At least he's motivated. The fiscal year 1998 budget is done, and there can again be no work performed by OSHA on producing an ergonomic standard. But, we've promised that this will be the last year OSHA's budget will restrict work on ergonomics in any form. Well, at least it sounds like a resolution to this stalemate is on the way. Once again, we have this brand new data that shows that two out of three chronic illnesses at work are due to ergonomics related causes. We've received even more new data on workplace injuries related to musculoskeletal disorders. It seems they are now accounting for a full one-third of lost days at work due to injury. I have authorized Congress to appropriate funds for the National Academy of Science to review the scientific merit of ergonomics. Their report should be out in a few months. We at the National Academy of Science has brought together more than 65 national and international experts, and we are confident in our determination that workplace ergonomics is a major cause of musculoskeletal disorders. Well, that settles that. Okay, now Congress has authorized the National Academy of Sciences to conduct another study on the scientific merits of ergonomics, with twice the funding this time. However, it is not the intent of this Congress to delay OSHA's work on ergonomics until this study is concluded. After all, good research takes a while, right? You've got to be kidding me! Sweet. Finally. Here's a draft of our proposed ergonomics standard, all ready to go and everything. We were pretty proud of it, considering. All right, industry folks. Do your worst. Whoa. 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 There's still this National Academy's ergonomic study we were waiting on. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean the second ergonomic study, because whatever they say this time, we'll believe them. Here we go again. I have proposed a rider in the House to force OSHA to wait two years until the new NIS study results are complete before finalizing their ergonomic standard. And, 
I have proposed a similar resolution in the Senate that would force OSHA to wait at least a month after those results before promulgating the finished standard. I mean, thanks for the support, I guess. But haven't we already reviewed the ergonomic science ones? I'm pleased to congratulate North Carolina, Washington and California for moving this ergonomics thing forward by becoming the first states in the country to develop their own ergonomics regulations. How's about the rest of y'all? All right, we've reviewed your very helpful comments, America, and here's our final proposed ergonomic standard. You'll have about six months to voice your opinion at several public hearings. So, after seriously considering the merits of this proposed ergonomic standard, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say it. Nyash, you guys are really botching up this whole National Academy's ergonomics research study business. I mean, you seem kind of biased to be supervising this thing. Just saying. He's right. Very suspicious. Well, we've concluded our public hearings on the ergonomic standard, and something like a thousand or more of you testified in four cities. Phew. I think I have carpal tunnel from holding the microphone for all of you guys. It seems that some of you are a little concerned about how much complying with this standard is going to cost. I bet it's expensive. Like at least a hundred dollars. Congress, I'm very disappointed in you. The House just passed a rider on funding bill once again prohibiting OSHA from working on their ergonomic standard, even though you boys and girls promised not to do that again back in 98. And the Senate went ahead and did the same darn thing, saying OSHA has to wait at least another year. Well, put on your seat belts, cause there's a veto coming at y'all. Seriously, though, I am deeply disappointed that the Senate chose to follow the House's imprudent action to block the Department of Labor's standard to protect our nation's workers from ergonomic injuries. After more than a decade of experience and scientific study, and millions of unnecessary injuries, it is clearly time to finalize this standard. Mr. President? What's that about a compromise? Sure, I'm listening. What did you have in mind? Well, don't keep us in suspense. Ha ha, Major Look. We have no intention of compromising. But it was nice to hear what you were willing to give up. I'm kind of at a loss, at this point. If that's the way you are gonna play it, here's the final ergonomic standard. Hua. Ah. Not so fast. I've got about a trillion signatures on these here petitions that are going to bring down this standard. Well. What do y'all know? Looks like I've got a signed funding bill that makes no mention of restrictions on any ergonomic standards. And, it looks like I've got me a narrow electoral college victory that says I get to nuke me an ergonomic standard. Nuke, nuke, nuclear. Wait, it hasn't even taken effect yet? As of January 16th, the ergonomic standard is now officially in effect. Oh. Well, it's official. Again. We've talked to the president, again. We've given our report to Congress, again. It says, we at the National Academies have, once again, found that ergonomics is relevant and important to American industry. Musculoskeletal disorders are caused by ergonomics risk factors often present in many American workplaces, such as heavy lifting, high repetition, force and vibration. Also, we found that interventions that incorporate the things recommended in OSHA's ergonomic standard have been shown to protect workers from these hazards. Again. Is it just me, or do I get the sense that things came out a bit redundantly? It's just you. I have introduced a resolution of disapproval in the Senate to repeal OSHA's irresponsible ergonomic standard. I am confident it will pass, and that my honorable colleagues in the House will do likewise. Two months is plenty long enough for this miserable regulation. Well, that lasted about as long as a roll of TP at the Hong Kong buffet. If the very short-lived ergonomic standard is in fact repealed, 
this administration will ensure that OSHA pursues a comprehensive approach to ergonomics, including new regulations. Finally, I thought it was gonna take like forever. I'm signing this here bill to permanently and forever repeal the ergonomic standard. By using the Congressional Review Act, also known as the Dynamite Law, he <laughs> he. We've assured that OSHA or Congress can't reinstate an ergonomic standard in the future unless it is significantly and substantially different in scope and requirements. In other words, we killed it deader than the raccoon on Davy Crockett's head. He <laughs> he. But, don't worry, I'll make sure we pursue a comprehensive approach to ergonomics. I have a hard time comprehending what a comprehensive approach would be. We urge the Secretary of Labor to repromulgate an ergonomic standard. And, so do these 50 other organizations. Don't make me come over there. Due to the recent September 11th attacks, the administration is going to postpone our comprehensive approach to ergonomics. However, we promise to vigorously pursue ergonomics in a year or two. Or, maybe we won't.